Welcome everyone to my second channel where we take a more relaxed and behind the scenes approach at stuff that I do on my main channel. Now, one thing that you guys have been asking about a lot over the last two-ish years is this truck. This is my 1999 Ford F-350 with dual rear wheels. Now, this has been a truck that I've been daily driving for a very long time, except for the fact that it's been sitting for the last two years. And you can definitely tell it has uh, kind of mold and mildew. It's really, really dirty. But I have some great news today because the truck is running. We have a bunch of new parts on it. And today we're gonna take it on a test drive and we're also gonna wash it because it's disgusting. But I wanted to talk about what we did. Now, all this stuff we did off camera because I don't know if you know this, but we actually are very busy uh, here at the shop. I got a new shop and there's an old shop back there. There's more shops and we're moving stuff around and I have to build a P1 and a Ferrari and lots of other things. And stuff like this is kind of thrown by the wayside. But I had a guy, Jack, is uh, actually not, not my Jack. He's an older Jack uh, that uh, knew everything there is to know about these cars. And uh, he actually put all this stuff on. So a big shout out to Jack. But uh, I want to go over everything we put on here because this is, this is really, really cool. So we have a bunch of Banks power parts. We have their Ram air system. We have their intercooler. You can't see it here, but the intercooler is like this massive big chungus here. We have a uh, new reservoir because the old reservoir like exploded. We have a new timing cover. We have new timing cover gaskets, everything underneath there, water pump, the uh, radiator hoses. We have a new belt. We have uh, actually a new turbo housing back housing, downpipe, exhaust, uh, and everything back there is brand new. And I think that's about it. Oh, the batteries are new. Uh, so I'm actually thinking about how much all this cost. I don't want to think about that, but I, I really miss my truck, so it's all worth it. We have a fuel pressure regulator that wasn't on there before. Oh, we have new glow plugs. So glow plugs are a must for a diesel with 280,000 miles. In its stock form made something like 280 horsepower or somewhere thereabouts. It's really, really low with 500 foot pounds of torque. With the Banks tuner, we have an auto mind programmer. Uh, it should make quite a bit more than that and it should be a lot more efficient and it shouldn't blow black smoke because these things were known for rolling coal. My car, my truck certainly did uh, back in the day. I don't want that to be a thing anymore because my cameraman, Tommy, he owns a Prius and, uh, you know, as, as a Prius owner, he gets, he gets, uh, he gets rolled coal on a lot. So, you know, I want to make sure his day is just a little bit brighter because we're not going to roll coal with this. Uh, but take, take a look on the inside of this thing. I'm used to it, Freddie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, first off, you can see how dirty, look how dirty it is. Oh, oh boy. Um, so take a look on the inside. This is where the magic happens. Oh boy. Um, the interior smells real bad, but, uh, when I got this truck, this actually had a lot of modification to it. So this is a 99 truck. The interior is from an 06. The front end is from an 06, but the back is from an 08. So it's sort of like a Frankenstein monster. Uh, we took out the tuner that was on there. We replaced it with this Banks auto mine tuner which is very, very cool. And it allows us to do uh, a bunch of tunes on the fly. And uh, it allows us to actually tune the ECU and not just kind of like a piggyback system, which is very interesting. Other than looking really bad, it sounds quite good. So, check out how this sounds. That is so nice. It is so nice. I missed my truck so much. I know that it had a problem where we couldn't figure out why it wasn't starting. That was a low pressure oil pump. And then it turns out we had a problem with a high pressure oil pump. And then we had a bunch of other problems along the way and we replaced all of that. When I say we, I mean Jack. So again, shout out to Jack. But I think we need to take this to my other shop and uh, give it a nice clean. And uh, hopefully Rex doesn't have a heart attack. Fire in the hole.
What do you think? Are you ready for this job? What job? Your favorite truck on the planet. You see that? You see that right there? The, 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 the dumpster with the truck um, art on it? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, we should them. Just dump it in there. So, <laughs> hey, Freddy. We love you. I got something for your car. Oh, what is that? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's been Finally. in there for a while. There might be roaches in there. Damn. Sorry. Finally get to become a hot boy. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to. That's why yeah. I came here. Today's the day, dude. That's perfect. Today's the day. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's just agua. No, I mean that. Oh, it's a hot boy. Um, what is it? They, so you oh, have, it's a strip. You have, you yeah. Have, you, have, you have little uh, plastic things, protectors for your rims. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. So it's it's rim blades. Yeah. I thought it was like one of those strips that you know makes my car look like it's glowing. It does. It does. It does. You know, it does. I don't know if it glows, but it certainly has. Some... I like the fact that it's red. Yeah, it's red. It's the color of hot boy. Oh wow, Jack. Blue is the color of hot boy. Yeah. I knew you're gonna say that. No, red is. Red is the color of hot boy. Red. Blue is the color of old people. Yep, very old. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll put this on my car. Um, but before that, there's a lot to do to my car. So. Yeah. It's very. It sounds very loud, but it's very slow. So I gotta <laughs> fix that. <laughs> what you got? So uh, we have a hubcap. It's giant. Because this is a giant truck. And I think I just got disease you uh, you need your rabies shots yeah <laughs> <laughs> so here is the old low pressure oil pump and what it does is just goes around the crank like that and it pumps oil through these little passageways and that's how it creates oil pressure and I got a, uh, a revised one that actually has less of these bumps but they're more pronounced so it can create uh, a better uh, oiling environment for our engine. And this is, oh, oh, look at that. Okay, so here's how we deal with this problem. Now I'm super excited because I get my truck back. I haven't driven that truck in like three years. And it does have like 280,000 miles. And a lot of you are wondering what the vehicle history is with that many miles. Well, I don't have to worry because I use Car Vertical, and that is today's sponsor. Now, if you haven't heard of Car Vertical, then you are in luck because, man, they are the best vehicle history report that you can get right now. Not only does it tell you if the car's been stolen or it's been in a flood or fire or any of the things that I like about buying a cheap car, but it tells you if there's mileage discrepancies and if the car's been in a salvage lot, it gives you the photos so you can compare from when it got hit to when you buy the car for a discount and maybe you don't know why the car is so cheap. Now, Car Vertical checks all over the world so you can rest assured that you're getting the most accurate vehicle history report possible. And with my discount code Tavarish, you can get 10% off your first order. Go check it out. It's in the link in the video description below right now. Totally worth it.
All right, so this is the first time I'm taking this truck out in very many years. I think the, the truck's been uh, sitting for about three years. And uh, thanks to uh, Jack, well, older Jack, and also uh, younger Jack, everybody had a hand in this. And uh, thanks to Rex and, uh, and his friend Ronald, um, we are finally getting this thing back on the road. And I want you guys to listen to how this turbo sounds because uh, all the bank stuff plus some other aftermarket stuff that we had on this truck uh, make it sound pretty insane. Now, not only will this truck be more efficient, but it's not gonna roll coal. It'll be better on fuel and hopefully be a little bit more quiet and livable day to day because I actually want to daily drive this for a little bit. You can already hear the turbo a little bit. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> it sounds like a semi truck. <laughs> this is so cool. Now the steering, I mean, look, look at how much I'm having to steer. Uh, we do have to adjust the steering box a little bit, but um, you know, it's a little bit better than it was. Uh, it's still, you know, this is, we're still going straight, still going straight, but it's an old truck with really tall, really narrow tires. So this is just part and parcel of what it's like to own one of these things. But we're maintaining a decent speed Oh, dude. <laughs> that is good. It's like a little semi truck. That's so cool. The AC works, the radio works, the brakes work. I mean, this truck has 283,000 miles, nearly 300,000 miles, but it, it doesn't feel like it. I mean, it feels like it's a little bit used, but definitely not on its last legs. This thing can still do another 300,000, 400,000, heck, maybe a million miles left to go. Well, thanks to G-Technic uh, for giving us everything that we need to clean this and polish it because it was just a wreck that hadn't been cleaned for years. And uh, thanks to Banks Power because without them, this truck w literally wouldn't be driving anywhere. So now we have the best of all worlds. I guess I'll leave it there. I'm really, really happy with this truck. And uh, I hope that we're gonna be towing really cool projects in the future. Hi. <laughs> we're gonna use my Tundra to tow. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna use a Tundra. Right? Tundra will be towing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about the truck? Dude, this is sweet. It sounds awesome. It really, and it's very spacious. This is nice. It's actually, it's good. It's not, it's not bad. It sounds just like the Evo? Dialing it in, yes, yes. The Evo sounds like a diesel. <laughs> well, the turbo noise, definitely. That is pretty cool. Although when it hits above 70, I'm getting a little scared. <laughs>